in this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. Well, you're just going to have to see it to believe it. Something to behold when the Bourbon Guild Review, George T. Stagg. Thundercats, man. Thundercats. Gummy bears. Sure. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Review Show. Dutch. Jules. Mr. Dylan. Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield. All right, guys. In this episode, it's got special gift wrapping on it, but this is George T. Stagg bourbon from Buffalo Trace. This is part of the Buffalo Trace antique collection. Um, it comes shipped in this, you know, George T. Stagg tissue paper, but this is what the bottle looks like. Yeah. It's the best time of the year. It, it is. I mean, you know, this is one of the highly sought after special release bourbons. It comes out every year between September and December, depending on where you live. Um, kind of an iconic series of bourbons. There's the George T. Stagg, there's the William LaRue Weller, and the Eagle Rare, as far as the bourbons. There's a couple of ryes as well that come out, but we don't we don't talk about rye on this show. Um, it's, it's, it's mash bill number one. It's usually full proof. I believe this one comes at us. Yeah. Uncut, unfiltered, full proof at 124.9. Oh, proof. it's a little lower, huh? 62.45%. A little lower than yet last year. Um, I mean, it's a pretty, I mean, I have to say something, first of all, that these are my favorite bottles. It's beautiful. The bottles, it is, it is beautiful. The bottles are incredible. Um, it's kind of everything you'd want, just a, a, a glass bottle. It's got a little bit of information on the back, uh, tell you, you know, what's inside the bottle. Um, look at the color. The color's amazing. Look at the, look but, at the color. It looks it, like bourbon. It looks like it looks it's like bourbon rich color. bourbon. Yeah. But these are hard to find. And, and we talk about this whenever we, we film one of these kind of rare bourbons. Very hard to get your hands on. We were lucky enough to get it in a flash sale for $140. $140? Um, Dylan will talk a little bit about the stats on this, including the MSRP, which is a joke because it's... <laughs> no one's paying that. Um, no one's paying that. Um, you right down there, Ben? Yeah. And... It's okay. Carry on. Make sure you cut that. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> there. That's oh, there oh, we go. Oh, right. that's what you were looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. All right. Will this even fit? Has uh, it been sterilized? This has been properly sterilized. Yeah. It's still got the tag on it. I'm not using this. Um, but I, I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the thought. Um, yes, yeah, so in case you haven't Viewers seen... will appreciate the thought. In case you haven't seen our um, Woodford Batch Proof video, I had a little problem pouring that. I'll be careful, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I appreciate the gesture. All right, well, it's there for your help. You know, hey, just trying to help. Um, but anyway, so I guess that means I should crack this open and start pouring it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Dylan, what else you got? <laughs> All right. Uh, it's Mr. Dylan. Sorry, uh, sorry, Mr. Mr. Dillon. Uh, so this is Buffalo Trace, um, mash bill number one. This is the low rye uh, mash bill, cast number four, aged 15 years, four months. Wow. Boy, that is years. amazing. Uh, the proof is 124.9, which is good, but last year was 129.2. So you're going to be disappointed. Oh, boy. I, I, but I do love it. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an experience. It's, you know, we got to celebrate it. Um, this is obviously the stronger proof brand. It's named after St. Louis, um, uh, whiskey salesman. And, uh, you know, this year's, uh, George C. Stagg was distilled in spring of 2003, aged in warehouses C-H-I-K-P-Q. No one's even listening to Mr. Dylan. Last <laughs> year. one drop, guys. Uh, so here's the thing. Last year, according to Buffalo Trace. I'm listening. Um, they wanted to... Uh, you know, they wanted to continue to increase the yield. Uh, it only had like 309 barrels. Apparently, they were supposed to have more, but then they only had 284 barrels this year. And uh, so they bottled uh, 30, 37,111 bottles. Wow. And it was 886 bottles but, less. But this, this tends to be the, the most available of the antique collection, right. usually. Thank goodness. Look at that color. The color is amazing. Look at that color. Wow. Boy. 
All right, Jules, All right. why don't you tell the viewers our scoring criteria? All right. So if you're new to the Bourbon Guild, we do have a 10-point grading system. We give two points for its aroma or the nose, three points for its complexity of flavors, two points for its drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and a bonus point for value, uh, our most controversial <laughs> category. So for us, we usually define it as its availability and price point. All right, guys. Let's get to the bourbon. And away we go. I will be objective. You know, sure I, you I, you no, know you I, I like to be, I like to be. You're you not know, objective on any cask strength. I, I try to be, <laughs> you know, I try to fly under the radar, right? You know, subtle. Clearly. Right. Clearly. You know, yeah. Subtle things. No, I, I, That's what I look for. No yeah. ego at all. <laughs> I would agree with that statement. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> oh. <laughs> That's about right, too. Ooh. Holy sh**. Did you he, breathe in a little too hard? Yeah. Water there, Bakersfield? Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, I, I need a second, sorry. I mean, the color mm. is beautiful. Can you, you even see the color? I mean, you know, I, I needed to, you know, wear my protective glasses. Because it's just like, whoosh. Because, yeah, it's just, it's just too much. Alright guys, let's get our final tallies here. You guys all ready? Everybody's yes. got a score? Yep. Okay, let's go. Ben. 9.5. Ooh. 9.5. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, and Mr. Dylan. 10.5. What? Off the scale. Oh, that's not even possible. Off the five. scale. Off the scale. Wow. All that's right. Fun. Jules. 9.5. Oh, right, yeah. And I gave it a 9. I gave it a 9. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Whoa. Although I think I know where. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. You wow. guys can probably guess where. We'll kick it off with mm -hmm. where, which is aroma. Yeah, exactly. Um, How? How? I gave it a, it a 1.5. How? Oh, that's about right, though. But let me I tell don't you know. Right on the Dutch scale. They, no. they even brought oh, no. it down for the delicate folks. Jesus, I, spill some I, on the table. I don't understand it. <laughs> Can I explain why? Yeah, go ahead. I you want to hear this. Care? Yeah, no, okay. no, actually, I don't, I don't but care, but whatever. I want to hear it. <laughs> All right, I got hit in the face with cinnamon. Yeah, <laughs> and I got a clear sweetness, and I got a fruit. But here's my problem: the reason I didn't give it a proof, a, a perfect, was because I couldn't identify the fruit. That's not. That's that's that's, that's all. Yeah, that's. Mm. I, I, I don't know. Sorry, but he doesn't yeah, curse. what he I'll said. I'm sorry. I, I, I couldn't. I will be Mr. Dylan's anger that's, translator in this that episode. Is, that is crazy. <laughs> what are you bullshit. talking about? All right. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Two, Come on. Just just Thank you. Give me up. I was really excited Dude. to have this drink. It hit Dutch, every single note. Dutch, even your broken ass no I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> Dutch, even your broken ass knows us know that there is some really good stuff going on. There is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. did say it. The hyposmia is appalling. That. Actually, I should say anosmia I, I, listen, is appalling. Let me explain why. I think the cinnamon is washing out the fruit. I can tell that there's a fruit there, but I that can't is, identify it. Uh, that's wrong. It's, it's all spice. Not we all we spice, go, but it's all wrong. spice. Where's that sign? Like, wrong. <laughs> deny. Deny, deny, deny. And anyway, you guys have anything uh, yeah. to actually add constructively, or are you guys just going to yell at me? Uh, <laughs> giving us a choice? <laughs> giving us a choice? I'm going to you the whole episode. Let's do it. All right. Let's move on. And move it on. Move no, no, no. no. On. Let, let me talk about the aroma. Okay. So I'm getting rich, rich stone fruit. Yeah. I'm getting jam. Jam, jam, jam. Yeah. I'm getting wood. Just that rich, beautiful wood. It's like going into a cabin. Yeah. It's like going into a, a, a cabin. You're smelling the kind of the, yes. the wood. That that age, but it's not, a, it's not a, a oak, it's cabin. not a peaty oakiness. No, it's, it's no, like a, definitely yeah. not peaty. You're getting, no, you're like, getting the just the rich caramel, and boy, that that smell just lingers. I mean, I could smell it from here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and I that that is appalling, and it's and it's it's an insult <laughs> to all the people in the world that can smell anything. You guys act like you don't know this man. I mean, this is this is, is a one point crazy. To be fair, now, he I know what, is given... now I know what Jules feels like all the time. <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely <laughs> insane. Given, yeah, and you've given exactly. a two to other stuff that is literal, wow. that is just as powerful, if not less powerful, than this. Because this has some good it's... stuff. Going oh, look on. at this second pour! Oh, wow. wow. Hey guys, right. let's, let's, let's move, move on it. to complexity. Yeah. Let's there's... hurry this along before he goes for pour number three. Yeah, um, complexity. I, I mean. You and I both sat here for a long time yeah. going over complexity, yeah. and I even added water. 
I, I had so much trouble with this for some reason, but I ended up at a 2.5. 2.5. Absolutely. This is absolutely okay. crazy. Here's where I may I may uh, 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 invoke. I'm some gonna have part. to take off. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is well, Dylan's absolutely back. Dylan's back. crazy. You guys are nuts. All right, go ahead. I'm not nuts. I'm crazy. Oh, we've got nuts. <laughs> anyway, um, he no nuts. <laughs> <Where is he? laughs> yes, exactly. Um, I, you know, there was just something missing. Yeah, and I feel like what it was was I, I talked about. Anger. You know what's missing? Your brain. Wow, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Holy you moly! Need an anger translator. Jeez. Wow, that's. I okay. like. It. I mean, I love Mr. Dylan. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go on. I was missing that anchor, and I, and I think yeah. that's what it was. Like, and why we were having trouble is yeah. like I kept tasting. It. I'm like, that's exactly. There's, it. It's it's delicious. I mean, two point five is an amazing score, but yeah. there wasn't a single defining flavor here, like an anchor that all the other ones kind of like built off of. It was a great hit of of all the greatest hits, but it, it just was kind of missing something to tie it all together for some reason for yeah. me. And, I, and because it took me so long, at the end of the day, I was like, you know, it's not perfect because I can't tell out the gate that it's perfect. 2.5. It's actually, yeah, exactly. 2.5. And that's uh, the reason I settled on. Yeah. Was because, like, why I am I struggling? Like, yeah. yeah. Why am I struggling with this one component? And, and, yeah, and to be fair, it could have ended up anywhere between 2 and a 3. Yeah, I mean, it could exactly. Have been two, two exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. Go ahead. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dillon. So I agree with your word choice. I settled on a 2.5. Yeah. I wanted to give it a 3. I did too. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let me talk. <laughs> no, because I know I'm not going to change your mind, but I think I have a good point. Um, <laughs> that's the story of Ben's life. <laughs> Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I agree with Dutch on this. There's something where something's being being washed out, or something's just not bringing it all together. Anchor, 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 anchor is a good yeah. term because yeah. there's some. The, it's good. I yeah. like yeah. it. Yeah. And there's a, a lot of complexity. Drink, there's yeah. a lot of spice. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna invoke the holy name of the Woodford Reserve Batch Proof because I'll tell you right now. I gave that per I gave that the Dylan score. I think I did too. Uh, that, 10. I think I did too. Because there was a true anchor in that the spices but anchor that bird. There's something here where I'm like, I don't want to say messy, but it's like there's a gap of like where where the spice is bleeding over. It's like it's it's you know, it's like the gain's too loud. Yes. I don't I know like I don't know how to better analogy. describe it, yeah. but like yeah. it's great and I know I know it's your jam because I get the high proof, but like for me, like there's something that's ta that is taking away from the yeah. flavor, and I couldn't give it a three. Right. But let's give five. let's give yeah. Mr. Dillon's here. So let's so I, I I this is a uh, plea to the editors: just cut all of this because it's a waste <laughs> of time. So this is this is this is why this is a perfect. This is legend because you get you get you get the uncooked peach nectar plum, then you get the cooked peach nectar plum. And then you get the long finish. Wait, are you saying and peach nectar? Peach nectar, all the stone fruit. You get the the raw, the cooked, the ripe fruits. You get this long, beautiful finish. It is high enough proof. I mean, I wish it was a little bit higher, but you know, for what it is, it creates this beautiful balance of flavor. You get that caramel. It's not. It's not like the kind of the the simple syrup type of thing. It's it's mm. a rich rich yep. caramel that brings up and then deep, and then again the deep rich that that kind of not overwhelming but that wood that wood woody oaky flavor this is a perfect so again just have to cut out all of their you know nonsense can i because add, this is it can i add to what you were going to say no so we can continue <laughs> this is it this is it all right, go, go ahead all right i i want to segue into drinkability about that because what you said about that caramel, it's in the finish. It's like oh. right in the middle. It's like eating dessert. So we're There's jumping, a caramel we're sweet. Jump, yeah, I'm gonna go to drinkability, drink right? but I gave it a two, two. because two. Two. the finish two. is amazing. Yeah, finally. The finish is amazing. Amazingly good. And what you said, that sweetness, it's like yeah. eating a dessert. Well, it's like it's like a caramel syrup on a dessert. Here's the most impressive thing to me is like we talk about barrel proof, batch proof bourbons kind of almost being handicapped in this category because you get a burn. Right. There is you don't no get you get burn. There's nothing. spice. There's not no burn. burn. There's, there's, there's no spice, burn. This is, not burn. This is yeah. why I'm appalled. Yeah. 
by your score. But that's drinkability, man. This is that's we're on drinkability. I, I, I don't understand it. It's I think it's okay, just you blasphemy. Need to get, you need to get over it because we got to move on to uniqueness. Um, <laughs> I gave it a three. 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 Unanimity. Come on. Again, right? Yeah, it's not unique From about the bottle, the bottle yeah. to the juice to, to the, the story. Juice, the story. I mean, I, the rarity yeah. of the, well, you know, let me, the distribution. Um, let me throw a little curveball in here because I originally had a 2.5. As mm. I originally had it because it comes out every year. Mm. There's Stag Junior, which has similar components to the flavor. But at the end of the day, as I'm sipping this, I'm thinking, but wait, for a barrel proof to have this much sweetness and to yeah. be this smooth, yeah. plus the bottle and all that, it is it is definitely three. Yeah. yeah so I so well, I and mean, it's distinct, I think, enough from last year. Yeah, this you know score I mean? is like, reaffirmed you know. by the fact that I did a tasting. Yeah. And it's like, boy, I mean, yeah. it, this is this is just it stands out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love you did a the tasting high meaning what? The tasting between all of the bourbons, like the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, oh, okay. did all of the tasting and this just stands out. It's your I mean, favorite this is, among them, for sure. I mean, I I, I have to give it respect. All right. That's what. That's why I got the dapper hat. You're wearing something different. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, all right, guys. Like final nice. category. Our bonus controversial category for value. I think no controversy here. Oh, maybe. Well, let me. Um, I mean, I, I I will say my piece. It's unavailable. Yep. And when you can find it, it's priced insanely high. Exactly. It's zero through and through. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Flash Zero. sale only. Come on. I can't believe this. I mean, we know he did it because he has 10.5. Yeah, exactly. But like, I've seen Instagram posts of guys. I think it was New Mexico. Somebody posted up like four cases at a big box store, 99 or $99 a bottle for this laid out. And it's like, if you're lucky and fortunate enough to happen upon that, great. But... There's several big box stores in my area that I've been to, and that never happens. If so. you live, if you live anywhere near more than a million people live, yeah, that's a, that's. I mean, like just just, just throw up, put, put numbers. Like, yeah, out there, though, if you live near a big city, basically, yeah. you will never. I mean, you'll never find this in your corner. So, yeah. so I if you do, it's going to be priced up yeah. ten times price of MSRP. Yeah. yeah. So the reason I gave it a point five, I mean, I didn't give it a perfect, right? So I gave it a point five because I reject the Bourbon Guild's scoring criteria. <laughs> I reject you because so Mr. Dolan is just making up his own score. Because right to me, you agreed upon the score. To, to me, the fact that a manufacturer of this fine liquor goes to the trouble of aging this for 15, 15 years, years at this high of a proof, it's basically saying, "Hey, Mr. Dolan, let me make the perfect bourbon for you." And I say, "Thank you, sir. I will give you a .5." So that's why it's a ten point five. So I, I, you know, this this all nonsense, this this kind of petty petty scoring. This is the definitive score, ten point five, legend. <laughs> ben, do you really need to say it? I wasn't gonna do it, but he gave it a point five. Astute viewers. Oh, fail. You're on crack. <laughs> You're on crack. Like, listen. I don't do illicit drugs. We're gonna sit up here and drink this and throw nines oh, wait, around, wait. tens around, and this is good stuff. A lot of people are not going to drink this. Yeah. And that sucks. Yeah. There are good things out there. There's a lot yep. of good bourbons. I'm not going to say drink this instead of that or whatnot. But you know what? A lot of people a lot of people watching this, you guys may not be able to get your hands on this. And the, the few that can, great. You know what? There's four of us. That means we have four chances to go out and try and get and one we got of these how many bottles? Flash. And we got yeah, one. Really, one, this year. one of us got one, one bottle. We don't get, we're not gifted anything. We're not, we go out and buy them, same as you. And we don't have hookups. We go out and flat, get flash sales or we go to the liquor stores and talk to the owners. Like, and we got one bottle. We didn't get William LaRue Weller this year or the Eagle Rare. We'd love to try I, those. I got, I got the LaRue Weller coming, remember. Oh, okay, great. It's all right, it's all right. Preach on, Ben. Preach on, Ben. Keep going. Save a lot people. of you Save ain't going to be able to try, try this, let alone find a bottle. I'm, I'm talking not even being able to maybe get it in your local whiskey bar. You may, Maybe you go to a big city and they got a nice steakhouse that has it. But you know what? This is hard to find, and that's availability. And the price... Hundred dollars a bottle if you get it MR. I'm sorry, ninety dollars a bottle sorry, if you get it MSRP. Has You're anybody, not gonna get it. Zero. This You're not gonna zero. Zero. Yeah, I, I gotta it. talk you. I gotta talk Mr. Dylan off the ledge you with that point five. No, it's not. But I gotta say, he my just piece. poured himself a third pour. Holy sh! Let me go first. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go first. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, maybe wait. except with you with the Jim Beam. Wait, did so was somebody talking? Oh no, no, we just fast forwarded through the whole thing. It's okay. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Um, let's get our summary here. Let's get our final tally. Ben, 9.5. Mr. Dillon, 
So this is a score for the non-delicate souls. 10 point. Well, the official adding machine is going to knock off 0. 0.5. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 10.5. Cheers to... 9.5. And I, I had a... Oh, you dropped? I have a knife. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So I was double checking because I thought yeah, I changed just, something, but I just did. So our official Bourbon Guild score for George T. Stag Buffalo Trace Antique Collection 2018 is a legendary 9.625. Oh, my God, dude. Was that the same as Woodford? 9.625. I hope not. Uh, no, no, I don't no, know. no. I think one of the... We'll have to double check. We'll have to go to the tape. Yours should technically be a 9.5 because you... This is you're broken on aroma. That I agree with Mr. Dillon. Well, okay, that's, that's not what happened. That Fine. Fine. That's not what happened. Jules takes out. Hey, you guys tell us what you think in the comments below. Have you been able to get a bottle of George C. Stag 2018? Let us know. Uh, especially like New Mexico Instagram mm -hmm. post. Jeez, can't believe you get cases there. Anyway, check us out on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Tip your bartenders and try to ask them. Try to find a, a pour of this for under 50, 60 bucks because that's usually what they usually charge a hell of a lot just for a, a neat yeah. pour. If of you this. can find this for if like a find. twenty, a twenty, thirty, a twenty dollar pour, is pretty yeah. definitely worth it. Yeah. But tip it's your bartenders because they're that's no indication of the price. Yes, bourbon gold out. Now, will you take out this gaudy monstrosity? <laughs> This gaudy monstrosity. Hey, I try to be respectful. Cast a shadow. Over I try my... to be respectful. Wow, speaking of casting shadows, somebody was throwing some serious shade. <laughs> <in that. laughs> okay, I mean, so anyway, like best '80s TV show theme song. I, I've got Night a Night Rider. Night Rider's good, but uh, did you guys ever see Cobra? Oh, yeah. with Michael Dudikoff. Exactly. Oh, wow. Remember the theme Wait, song? No, I don't remember show? the theme song. That's yes. not a TV Michael show. Michael Dudikoff. No, 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 no. Oh, not the, not yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not, yeah. And Michael Dudikoff did a TV show oh, called no. right. Cobra. Oh man, I don't remember that. Look I was going to say Street Hawk or um, Magnum PI. Look it up and look up the theme music. Well, it's eight eighties. You said it might have been nineties. No, could could be late eighties. It might have been nineties. Might have been early nineties. What about He Man? One twenty four point nine. I think.